family, Kenny Bogus, Big Church, taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure at Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen and would be me, this cat. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Kenny's Kitchen. It's all about flavor right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, subscribe. We definitely appreciate the love on that. That being said, uh, it's mid-March, right? Almost St. Patty's time. And uh, what I want to share with y'all this week, you know I got the corned beef laying around somewhere, right? Got the corned beef briskets. So, but what I want to do though is take it a step, you know, a little step deeper for y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hit y'all on the 850 Traeger. We're going to double up with another smoker edition. And uh, we're going to make, instead of corned beef, man, I thought, let's do pastrami. So I want to do some, make my first pastrami. Stay down to Kenny's Kitchen. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you how that go down. On the Traeger, Kenny's Kitchen. You about to see it because we about to do it right here, right now. Taste this. Let's go. Church. Come on. All right, family. So getting started, what we have here is a corned beef brisket, about three and a half, uh, almost three and three quarter pounds. You can get three to three and a half to four pounds is what you want to get. Nice size uh, brisket. Uh, but, be but before we get to getting started, because you know how these things come, they come in the package in the solution, the salt solution. So what we want to do is get rid of all of that salt. So we want to give it a water bath and let it soak. Uh, we're gonna pour it in a, put it in a container, pour water over it, let it soak, and we're gonna change the water out every four hours for about maybe two to three times just to get all of that salt out. So uh, take you to that next step real quick. Let's go. All right, and what we have here is a big tub or tote that we can fit in the refrigerator, and we're just gonna, with no further ado, start to pour this water, just cold water, right over the top. And you want to fill it till it uh, till it's over. Just just where it goes over the corned beef. See, I got two of them in it too. We getting busy. All right, so that should be good. We gonna cover this up. Get a little top, cover that baby up, and uh, we'll put them in the fridge. And then, we, like I say, change it every four hours. And then I will meet y'all back when it's time to season these puppies up. All right, church. Okay, family, after about four hours, I'm gonna take the, pop the lid off of this thing for y'all. And you see how that water looking, that red. So what we're gonna do is just pour this water off, like so, and rinse and repeat. I'm gonna do this about two to three times. Like I say, every four hours, you wanna check it, refill it, just get it right over there to get all that salt out of there, you know what I mean? So we start from scratch, all right? On top it, rinse and repeat. All right, so as far as the seasoning for the pastrami, what we gonna hit them with, first of all, in this bowl right here is a uh, half a cup of black pepper, half a cup. And I ground it, I took this thing right here and hand ground that thing. Next, we're gonna add some sugar. And what I did, I did the uh, sugar in the raw. We're gonna do a fourth a cup, like that. Two tablespoons of granulated garlic, we're gonna add to the mix. Two tablespoons of ground coriander, we're gonna add to the mix. Tablespoon of onion powder. Tablespoon of mustard powder. We'll take a fork, mix that up real good. And that's gonna be the rub for the pastrami. Break that on up. A little bit more. Okay, family, so this is the corned beef. After I pulled it out, I uh, put it in a paper towel, patted it dry, and as you can see, it's a white color. It's like real light, light and white. After I uh, poured the water over it, I did it three times. And that's how it's looking, which is beautiful. So now what we're going to do with that beautiful seasoning we did is season the pastrami. We're going to go over the top generously. And that's going to be all over the all over the uh, corned beef. We're going to pat it in there real good. And we're going to let this sit overnight until it's time to hit the smoker in the morning. We're going to get out there bright and early like so. And put you then you can put your hands in there, give it a nice little pat. And you want to get that all over it. All right, y'all, that's how we looking. I'm gonna flip it, so y'all see it all the way through. All the way up and through, out and there. That's how we look, and we gonna let this rest overnight. And I'm gonna meet y'all at the smoker, all right? Church. 
All right, people, we back outside with the Traeger A50. And let's first check. I just filled up a little hopper with some uh, hickory smoked pellets, one of my favorites. And then we're gonna come down to the menu, get this baby prime, go down to auger. We're gonna hit enter. We're gonna start the prime. The countdown begins. All right, prime is complete, done. Now we're going to turn up the temp, 250. Gonna hit ignite. Oh, actually we're gonna set it. And we're gonna ignite. All right, we're at 34, so we're gonna let it get up to about 250. Nice little smoke. We're gonna get busy. As you can see, it's already starting to smoke, y'all. That's what I like to see. Okay, family. We've reached temperature. I had those briskets sitting at uh, room temperature, so we're ready to go. I'm gonna open up the trigger. And we're gonna set these puppies down, fat side down, just like this. You know I had to do two of them. All right, we're gonna close her up. And we're gonna let them go at 250 for about three hours. All right, we'll be back. All right, family, we, in, we about three hours in. Lift these up, and I got a little uh, pan. I'll show you. Got a little broth in here, a little beef broth. So what I'm gonna do right here? They look nice and crispy too. See that? Beautiful. Set it in the pan. Got a little little rack in there. See that? So what I'm gonna do now is wrap this with aluminum foil real tight. I'm gonna set it in there first, and then I'm gonna stick my thermometer probe in to the thickest part. Because we want it to be at an internal temperature around 200, right? So then I'm gonna wrap this up like so. And we're gonna close this thing and let it go for another maybe two hours until we reach an internal temperature of around 200, 202, somewhere up in there, all right? We'll be back. All right, moment of truth. Uh, the probe is where it needs to be. But we're not done yet. We're gonna sit it on the rack for another 15 minutes just to get back firm. So we're gonna let these babies go for another about 15 minutes just to kind of firm back up from all that steaming and juiciness. Then we're gonna let them rest, slice, and it's on. All right, let's give it a slice, see what it do. We're gonna cut against the grain. Get some nice little thin slices. Look at that. You got that bark. You hear that? That's what you're looking for, that good bark. This is crazy, y'all. This is crazy, y'all. It's crazy, y'all. That's beautiful, y'all. Pull a little piece out. Look at that. Show you how tender that is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Little taste test. Oh yeah, I'm gonna meet y'all at the plate and let's go. Church. And there you have it, people. There you have it. The smoke, the strongly baby, done righteously as we always do. I think y'all know what time of day it is. Let's go ahead and zoom on in to the magic, the majesty of it all. Look at that. See that bark? See that beautiful paint? Beautiful, y'all. And as we zoom out, gotta say gratitude, man. We appreciate y'all for tapping in with us like you do every week right here on Kenny's Kitchen. Be sure to drop in the comments what you wanna see us do moving forward. If it's fly, you know, we gonna give it a try, right? Right. 
That being said, we're going to get up out y'all hell. We're going to hit you with another Molly Whopper next week. Y'all be good. Church. And there you have it, people. There you have it. Kenny Bogus, Big Church. First pastrami. You know what I'm talking about? Done righteously as we always do. This is the part where I throw my hand up there and salute y'all with a big old salute because we appreciate y'all for tapping in with us like you do every week. Keep on doing what you're doing. Tell your people, see your people's people if I didn't mention that. Also, uh, when you do this recipe or any of our recipes, be sure to hashtag us. My hashtag Kenny's Kitchen, hashtag taste this, taste D-I-S. And uh, share this thing on, social, on your social media platforms if you will be so kind. You know what I'm saying? Really appreciate the love. We couldn't do it without y'all. Keep up the good work, man. Uh, we're going to catch y'all next week with another banger, as we always do. You know what I'm saying? I'll be checking them comments out. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been dropping some nice uh, nice little, little, little situations up in there. But uh, we're going to catch y'all next week on the flip side of things, man. Y'all be good. Take care of each other. We hope we took care of y'all. God bless. Big Church, I'm out.